Hi, uh, we're going to work on module six, project one. Uh, this is in Word. It's Escalante State College. I've already opened the file and uh, I have also opened the instructions and set them side by side. So it says open the file, which we've done, and then save the file as WD196A. Uh, last name, first name, to document X. So we'll do that now because mine is right now at one. So I'll do file, do save as, and I'm gonna put it in my downloads folder to make it easy for me. And I'm gonna change that one to a two and then click on save. Okay, and it says, if you don't see the extension save as, don't do it. Uh, if we don't have to type the dot, dot, docx with the still open ensure your first and last names displayed in the footer i'm looking footer yeah it's got my name in it good and then project steps as an administrative assistant in the dean of students office at escalante state college you're preparing a form letter to send to enrolled students welcoming them, them welcoming them to the college to use a standard format for letters change the page orientation to portrait so we're going to do that. We're going to go to design. I'm sorry, layout. We're going to go orientation and we're going to change it to portrait. Uh, so now the paper is turned the right direction. Convert the five paragraphs in the middle letter section, beginning college advisor and ending in uh, Allison Hamal. So this this right here, college advisors, Allison Hamal. We're going to convert this to a uh, table. So we're going to go to insert table, convert text to table. And now it tells us use tabs to separate the columns. So our tabs is selected. Use a fixed column width. We have a fixed column width. And it says apply the table to accent to table style. So we'll do that after we click OK. So we'll click OK. Then we're going to go up here to our table styles. And it says grid table to accent two. Okay, grid table two, accent two. Click on it. So now I've done that. It matches the other color schemes of the thing. Now it says to set up the document as a form letter, start the step by step mail merge. So I'm going to go to mailings and start mail merge. And it says to use a step by step. So we're going to do it. And it says, uh, accept letters as a document type, then choose the current document as a starting document. So I'm going to click next down here, use this current document. So I'm going to click next. And then now the list is where we're going to be at. So uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. create a new recipient list. So we're going to use a new recipient list. Click create. And it says customize it by deleting the company name. So customize columns. I'm going to delete company name, uh, country or region, and work phone, and then uh, email address field. So email address field, delete. Rename the zip code field using the word postal code. So I'm going to click on zip code, rename. Now change it to postal code. Add a new field called session. So OK. And then we're going to add a new field at the bottom. And we're going to call it session. And then click OK. All right. Enter the address information for the two recipients as shown. So I'll we'll click OK. And now I've got my data table. So now I'm going to put in the information here. And my computer doesn't want to do anything because I have this. So let me type it in. So Ms. Tab and Tab Hayes 702. Carly Street. Next line is apartment 310. Next line is the city, Chicago, Illinois, 60290. And I'm going to do a new entry. Wait, I'm not finished. 
need to put the home phone number. 773-555-1028. Now, this has parentheses around it, so I'm going to do it the same way they have it in the text. And I'm going to click OK because I can't see the rest of it. Actually, I'm going to type in the rest of this, and then I'll scroll down and see if there's any other fields because it looks like there's a session field, but I can't see it. The reason I can't see it is because I have this dialog box open. So let's do new entry, and let's do Mr., and then Ben, and Tang, 1435 River Road. There's no second line, Windsor, Windsor. And then this is in Ontario. And the postal code is N8N. And then the parentheses, 519, close parentheses, dash 555-6781. And I'm going to click OK. Right, that allows me to come over here, hopefully, and scroll. I have a, okay, it's not going to let me do that. I need to save my data source, but I don't want to save it yet. But I don't know what it's called. So I'm just going to call it um, sc underscore wd underscore 19 a 19 underscore 6 a and then I'll click on save and I'm gonna click on OK for right now now this will let me scroll down now I have the session July and August so I'm gonna go edit recipient list and I'm gonna click on this and click edit and then we're going to go down here to the sessions that we weren't able to put in a while ago. And this one is July, ends is July. And Mr. Ben is, Mr. Tang is August. Okay, and we click OK. Yes, we want to update the changes and then click OK. All right, so now we have those in there. So now number five says continue to step four in the mail merge wizard. So we're going to click on next to step four. And use the date content control with click here to select a date to select June 11th, 2021. So we're going to click here. And we're going to go to June 11th, 2021. Insert the inside address as follows. Select the placeholder inside address. Then insert it address merge field. So we're going to go to address. Uh, insert inside address, more items. Uh, hold on, cancel. Address block. Mr. Joshua Randall Jr. is what we want. Click OK. And then we're going to delete the placeholder that says insert inside address. And then yeah. And to delete the placeholder. And so number seven says insert the greeting line as follows. So I'm going to click on the insert greeting line, click on greeting line here, and it's wanting to use the Dear Joshua format. So the first name, just the first name right here, Dear Joshua, with a comma, no, with a colon. Close the new merge document without saving it. Let's see here, save the original form letter document. So this is our original form letter document. I'll we'll click the save button and it says saving. Your document should look like the final figure on the following pages. So here's page one. 
here's our page one. This is our first page. This is our second page. If you look at this first page, it only shows the address block and greeting line and ours shows an address. So what we need to do is go to mailings here and turn off the preview and then that shows the correct way. Down here it shows it correctly. So let's go back up and read the rest of the directions. Let's see here we turned off the preview of the mail merge which we just did. Uh, close the new merge document without saving it and we've already saved this original one so let's make sure I save it and we're good okay so this should uh, be all you need let's see if I can upload it real quick I don't have it set up to upload oh here it is <laughs> 